Welcome back to some Siemens training. Today's video we're going to show you the programming how to add a duct detector. In this case we're going to be adding the FDBZ492HR with a OP921 smoke head in it. We're going to show you the 901 programming, the 922 programming, and the XLS programming. And um, I'm going to show you the basics like you're just adding one single duct detector. And a scenario where in this picture here we're going to have like a big air handler unit and it actually has four duct detectors hooked up to it. I've had previous people and they would do something similar to this, knowing that there's one shutdown or one, one run one wire to each and every duct detector do all the relays to finally get to the shutdown. I'll show you how to eliminate that and run it to the nearest duct detector for ease of wiring, ease of relay uh, logic. Let's go ahead and start with the 901 programming. I got a basic 901 program and I got all four trees open. We're gonna go to addressable loop line one. We're gonna right click, insert node, and we're just gonna add one OP921. OP921, it gives you an option. How do you want this to behave, uh, alarm or in this case, we want supervisory. We do not want our duct to set off the alarm. Hit OK, and it'll add it in. But right now, it's just a smoke. In order to make it a duct detector, you're going to highlight the OP921, right-click, insert node, output channel. Now, as far as the program is concerned, it is a duct detector. Of course, here's where you would change your description. I'll just call this duct air handler 1. Same thing here in supervisory zone. The supervisory, I'll call it duck air handler one. Now the nice thing about the 901 program is for your most basic duct detectors, it's gonna be a standalone unit. If you look here, it automatically added the control. So you got control two. It doesn't know what it is, but we can name this duck air handler one, just for good labeling. And Automatically in the cause and effect, it put the supervisor signal as the cause and the output and the effect. If you have a dialer group, it does stick everything in dialer group one, so you'll have to adjust that as needed. You know, make a new dialer group. And you just drag and drop into whatever dialer group you want. Now, this is good for the single ones, but in the picture example, we actually got four duct detectors on one air handler unit. If supply bottom goes into alarm, we need the return bottom to trigger its relay because that's where we have the uh, closest disconnect. So to do that, uh, let's go back to the thing here. I already added one, let's add three more. I'm gonna do some insert multi-node, multi-node. And once again, because it's the OP921, I'm gonna be adding three, hit okay. And I'll ask you again, supervisor, I'll ask you three times. Again, for the three, we'll need to add the output. Rename as necessary. Again, I would uh, put their name addition. Rename them here as necessary. I'll just call the duck air handler. I'll call duck two, duck three, duck four for this example. But please give a better description for your customer when you're on the field. So again, it will automatically add a control for each one. So if you're trying to have any one of them trigger um, that relay, the best way I would say is open these up. We're going to drag them all into one control. So if you're dragging and dropping, everything goes at first control. Now control two, three, four are all empty, so I'm going to delete them and clean up my program. Now we're left with the original control. If you look at the cause, I got all four duct detectors. It's a OR statement, so if this one goes off, or if this one goes off, or this one, or this one, 
Yeah, it fades this control, and the effect is all four duct detectors are relay trip. So you just tell the guy who was ever hooking it up, just pick the closest or easiest duct detector to hook up to, and hook up your relay to the shutdown. You don't need to hook up all four. Just pick the closest, easiest one. Again, for each one you added, it's going to show up here as an alarm group one and dialer group. So if you have a DAC, you probably want to move it to the appropriate one. So that's how you do it for the 901. Let's continue to the 922. This is 922. I've got a basic one, so I'm going to go ahead and add a panel real quick. Uh, 922 single panel. Okay. And we got our different trees, hardware detection. We're going to start in detection for this. We're going to open it up and we're going to go to section. And I'm actually going to make a new one because uh, oftentimes I like to group things for ease of programming. I'm going to make a new section. And the section is just going to be called Ducks. Okay, so now in my Ducks, I'm going to right click and there's one called Create and Assign. We're going to click on that. And we have the OP921. Well, first off, go to the very top. You got the different zones. So I'm making these supervisors so we'll make sure we're under supervising. In this case, I'm already there. Great. Then you go find your device, the OP921 with output. How many am I going to do? I'm going to be doing four. First address will make it 100. Why not? And the text will be duck air handler, air handler. It's asking me to pick right here on the hardware part. It's going to be in the 9.2 on the CNET card. What circuit? Um, I'm just going to say it was on circuit 2-1. And so the first address is going to be 100. Nope. And create and assign. And only the one device changed it when I changed it on the hardware. So we're going to add the other three now. Create and assign. Okay. Now with that, let's go ahead and open it up and see what it did. It has made four supervisors and zones, all called Duck Air Handler 1. And they all got the smoke in there. Let's go to Harbor Tree. You open up CNET. We stuck it in 2-1. You can see it added one, and there's the output. And if you notice, the output has the yellow exclamation point. That means it's there, but it's not assigned. So at this point, nothing will ever trigger the output or the relay on your on your duct detector housing. So with this, uh, you would go ahead and label it. If you don't like this label, label something else. Also, if you need to put a dollar code in there, you would go ahead and click on the ducts and change the dollar group here. I'm gonna pretend I don't have a DAT card in here. So we're gonna move on to control. I'll show you how to activate this. And uh, fire control group. I'm gonna right click and new fire control. Standard fire control. And we'll just call this duck one. Now, if this was just one duct detector for one air handler, you just go to cause, assign. And right now it starts us off in alarms, but we have supervisors. So we want to go to event supervisory. Let's open it up. Oh, there it is right there. Supervisor Zone Duck Air Handler 1. We're going to assign that. And I'm not going to close this window. I'm going to go over and click on Effects. Output No Confirmation. I want the output associated with the same device. And close. Now that duck tether now is now a standalone duck tether. If it goes into a supervisory alarm, it will trigger its relay. But if we want to use that example again here, where any one of these four are going to trigger this bottom. We're going to go back to it and we're going to add the others. By default, it's going to be an OR effect, so any one of these will trigger it. Again, I'm going to go to Supervisory, All Supervisories, and we're going to click on the other three. Assign Effects. We're going to assign these other effects. And close. So now look in our control. 
it has four different things that can cause this. Being an aura does not require two or more to activate, just a single one. And the effects, all four of our death detectors will have the relay trick. So again, we tell the installer, whichever one's closest, whatever is more convenient, just hook up to the nearest one, and they'll be good to go. And with that, we're done with the 922. Let's move on to the last one, the XLS. Got a new project, so we're going to add in a new panel. Let's see, make sure we're clicking about this. Let's uh, insert a, a cap three. And that has the power supply. We're going to insert a card cage five. And in a card cage five, we're going to insert a X DLC card. So that's going to be required for us to hook up any of any one of our devices. So now we have XDLC we're going to insert. We're looking for the OP921. Click on OP921 see all the settings here. Detector base type. Again I said it's the FDBZ492HR. And we're using this as a supervisory. So on fire sensor event type we're going to make that supervisory. On the ASD application, I'm going to switch this to duck because it's a duck detector type. All right, and with that, it's been added to the hardware tree. How do you make it work? So it has control view. It's a little misleading if it just came from the other ones because it's not a control. Instead of control, we need a function. So we're going to switch this to function view. We're going to add a function for node one. Insert. We're going to do an or function. We'll name it um, duck one. The input. What's going to cause this to trigger? We're going to drag the OP921 in the input. And for the output, we're actually going to drag the OP921 again. This is just referencing the output channel. And with that, the single duct detector will work. Um, for our example again with the four, we're going to add in the other three and show you just how simple it is. Let's go back to the XLS. Um, please note that you can use copy and paste in this, so I'm going to do a control C and paste it three more times. Uh, I like address two, three, four, sure. If you notice, it does have the FDBZ. HR in there. It does still have a duck. It does still have supervisory. That's how we're going to make any one of these trigger all four of the relays. So we're just going to drag and drop again. And you can drag and drop again for the outputs. <clears throat> With that, any one of those duck detectors will trigger all four relays at the same time. Um, if you need to add a dialer group, you'll have to do it on the other window. I don't have a dialer put on this XLS, so I'm not going to bother showing you, but do know that by default, these will not dial out. I'll have to assign them. 